We went to Ann Arbor. You ever heard of this place? Ann Arbor, Michigan. There's some college there. And it was crazy. It was welcome week at the college. Yeah. I swear to God, there must have been a million people there all wearing the same shirts. These bright yellow Michigan shirts oh, yeah. for the school. They and lost, I was, too. Yeah, they lost. And I was so sickened. I hate when people wear the same shirts. Except unless it's a Red Bar Radio shirt. But it was so gross just to see like thousands of people all wearing the same shirt. Piss yellow shirt. I don't know why it made me so mad, but it's like we get it. School spirit. So stupid. That school is robbing you. They care nothing about your spirit. I, I'm telling you. You're a walking billboard for a business. It's all it is. School's a waste of time. College is so stupid. Anyone who's tricked into getting involved in school spirit, I have no respect for you. People at colleges don't give a shit about you. They don't care about you, your (laughs) parents, your grades, your future. College is such a waste of time unless you go to a trade school. (laughs) Unless you know what you're going to do, you're wasting your time in college. The first four years is just you cuddling in dorms and doing stupid games with red cups. That's it. (laughs) And then the fifth year, maybe you get a little bit of an education. And then you think you're like so fucking smart. And then you live there for three years afterwards. And then you live with your parents for like the next five years. And you never get that job that you were promised. And then your parents are like, or you're like, hey man, my parents covered it. Or I got student loans, but I'm going to make it back. You know how many people I know who have like a hundred grand in student loans? Yeah. You know how long it's going to take to pay back a hundred thousand dollars? Unless you you make like millions of dollars at your job, you're not going to be able to pay that back ever. Yeah. If you're going to state school, it's not going to pay back a hundred thousand dollars on top of everything else in life. The thing too is about student loans is if you file for bankruptcy... Like, you know, if you file for bankruptcy with normal debt, like, you don't have to pay it. But with student loans, you always have to pay that. Yeah. That's a stipulation. I know people who went to school for graphic design who have, like, 80 grand in debt. That's fucking crazy. Where do you think, unless you're, like, the best fucking graphic designer in the world, where do you think you're going to pay back that 80 grand with a graphic design job? Not going to happen. What is going through people's minds? It's these parents, man. They think you have to go to college, no matter what. How about this? Get your kid involved in some shit. Get him to have a hobby. You can't just be a hobbyless person with no interests and go to college and expect to be something. You're either something before you go to college or you're not. Okay? You're interested in something or you're not. There's so many people that are like, I want to do this when I grow up. I can't wait to be this. Then do it. Pretend you run your own company and do what you want to do. Yeah. And then I got one more thing to bitch about, and it's people who want to be doctors and lawyers. Who the fuck would want to be a doctor or a lawyer? Besides the status and paycheck, what awesomeness is involved in those two jobs? And why do so many people want to be that? Why? Because it sounds cool. I can understand why you want to be a doctor, but a lawyer? Yeah, not really? a lawyer. I can maybe, if you want to save people, but half the yeah. doctors don't want to save shit. Lawyers, do you know what being a lawyer is? It's wearing a shitty suit that's either too big or too small and showing up and, and defending Mexicans. <clears throat> Unless you're amazing. Then you get to do the cool stuff. <laughs> but you're not. You're not amazing. There's like one person out of every a million that is amazing out there. And then there's people, I want to be a lawyer. Well, you suck at arguing with me. How are you going to be a lawyer? You never argue. Unless you're like an awesome person who could sway people into everything your whole life, don't go to school to be a lawyer because you're not going to be a good one. You're going to be in circuit courts all over the country on hot days with shitty Navy suits and a crappy tie, you know, and stupid hair. Every lawyer I've seen, shitty hair. Horrible hair. Do you know what a lawyer is? It's a person who does bullshit paperwork all fucking day and never has fun. Their high point of the day is maybe going to a shitty bar with other people in shitty suits and drinking at the end of the day. You know? 
with a fucking eight shitty, crappy, falling apart briefcase suitcase things filled with highlighted papers with terrible handwriting. You know what you are as a lawyer? You're a person who makes photocopies constantly. That's what you are. I've seen lawyers. I've been through the courts. They're all awful. Yeah, you might make a little more than your buddies, but you're not going to have fun. No. There's no fun in it. It's not fun. You know? Even doing the big cases aren't fun. Where do people get it in their heads that being a lawyer is a great thing? I don't understand it. People are so brainwashed by uh, status and, and parents that they think you'll, you'll meet like some 18 year old kid who sucks and he'll be like, yeah, I'm going to law school. Why? Nobody gives a shit. Why? Why are you doing that? You have nothing else to do? It's even worse, though, Ugh. when people say they want to get business degrees. Really? Business. Yeah, that's another you thing. You want to get a business, business. degree? Business. What are you going to fucking do? You stink at everything. When are you all of a sudden going to be awesome? You're either awesome at what you do now, or you're never going to be awesome. You don't just turn awesome because you have a degree. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so those people, too. You're like, what are your hobbies? They're like, oh, I like, like playing basketball, I like playing music. It's yeah. Like, well, yeah. Okay. Partying. Business isn't one of your hobbies, so no. why are you doing it? Exactly. Do what you love. Then you should have a business right now on the side. You should be involved in a business. Because people care oh. so much about money. But even like there's so many people who want to be graphic designers, which I don't know why because you make shit money and it's so boring. Uh, but they suck at design. Then don't be a graphic. Do what you're fucking good at. And if you're not good at anything, be a deadbeat. But don't junk up the system out there. And put yourself in a professional environment and screw it all up for everybody. Do telemarketing. There you or go. be a person who answers the phones somewhere. Or just die. And there's nothing wrong with people who don't have a cool job. But don't just, you know, get a cool job just to have it. Mm. Be awesome. Or don't live. <laughs> you know? I always say be the best at what you're good at. And don't worry about the making money part. Because it'll be so much better if everyone just did what they're supposed to do. Instead of tried to do stuff that they can't do. You know, because that's what makes everything cockamamie out there. You know, when you go somewhere and people do a shitty job. You know, if you're not good at working at Best Buy, then don't work there. None of you are. You're really bad at working at Best Buy.